getting pulled over is one of the most uncomfortable experiences, in my opinion. Do you agree? It's the most dangerous five minutes of my life. Let's just be honest and say that it's uncomfortable because we probably did something wrong and we know it. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It could be something as innocent as having a busted taillight or as bad as going through a stop sign while texting and having a six pack. How you handle yourself during such a traffic stop is your business. But if you carry a firearm in your car, especially on your person, there is a specific way you want to handle it if you want to avoid getting arrested or worse, shot at. If you've been pulled over before while carrying a firearm, please share your story and outcome. We can all learn from your experience. I'm all here. With that said, let's get started. Number one, the first thing you ought to know is whether your state or any state you drive in or through requires you to disclose whether you are carrying a firearm, not just if the officer that pulled you over asks for it. For example, in Florida, where I live, I'm not required to disclose that I'm carrying. But if I drive through another state, the requirement may be different. And it is my responsibility to know that beforehand. Even though Florida doesn't require me to disclose, I still do. Which leads me to number two. Oftentimes, there is a delay from the time the officer exits the police cruiser and walks to your car. Without making any sudden or fast moves, and preferably without having to reach across your seat, get your driver license and concealed carry permit if you have or need one in your state, place them between the fingers of the hand closest to the driver's side window and place both your hands with open palms on the steering wheel. If your registration and insurance cards are in the glove compartment, avoid reaching for them at this time. If the officer sees you do it, he or she may be on high alert because they don't know if you're reaching for your documents or a weapon. Number three, when the officer reaches the window, be pleasant and respectful. The objective is to end the interaction as quickly as possible without incident. I'll drink to that. <clears throat> That's not going to happen if you cop an attitude. No pun intended. If the officer requests your documents, don't get them yet. The next words out of your mouth should be, especially in a state that requires you to disclose that you are carrying a gun, officer, I certainly will. But first, I'd like to disclose that I have a concealed carry permit. I am carrying a firearm on my person. What would you like me to do next? If you live in a permitless carry or constitutional carry state and choose to carry without a permit, then say, Officer, I certainly will. But first, I'd like to disclose that per permitless carry law, I am carrying a firearm on my person. What would you like me to do next? And then follow the officer's instructions to the T. Do not deviate or make sudden, unnecessary movements. Don't move a muscle. Please do not say, I have a gun and proceed to show them where it is. They'll consider it a threat. It's a sure way to get the officer to pull out his or her weapon and yell at you if not, shoot you. And number four, if the officer proceeds to take your documents and go back to their car to run a check, remain with your hands on the steering wheel and avoid sudden or obvious movements. But I do have to pee. When they return and give you back your documents and your summons, if any, remain polite and respectful and proceed slowly and cautiously back on your way. Whether you like the outcome or not, roadside is not the time to argue. You can contest the summons in court later. Remember. The goal is to end the encounter safely and peacefully as quickly as possible. Being polite and respectful will greatly increase your chances of that. Be polite, but don't kiss ass. Now, if you have a firearm in the trunk of your car, it is not readily accessible and does not pose a threat to the officers. So unless you're required to disclose it, the above protocol is not necessary, aside from the polite and respectful part. That ought to be a given. However, there is a possibility that the officer may ask to search your car. Well, unless they have a warrant, you do not have to consent to the search. For example, if the officer says, do you mind if I search your car? Or do you mind if I take a peek in your trunk? You may respond, respectfully officer, I do not consent to a search of my vehicle. That's it. There is no need to elaborate or explain any further. The Fourth Amendment of the US Constitution protects you against unreasonable search and seizure. If the officer persists, ask them, Am I detained or am I free to go? Looks like you're not going anywhere there, cheesecake. Unless the officer has legitimate probable cause to detain you, for example, 
they see empty beer cans in the back and you slur and smell of weed, or they're in your plates and there is a warrant for your arrest for unpaid parking tickets, they are supposed to end the traffic stop in a reasonable amount of time, which is about 10 minutes, and let you go. Keep in mind that officers these days have body cams and microphones as well as dash cams in their cruisers. So everything you say and do and everything they say and do is recorded and can be used as evidence for or against you if the situation escalates beyond a routine traffic stop. There's no reason to escalate any situations. So again, your number one objective is to end the encounter safely and respectfully as quickly as possible and be on your way. Being pulled over is stressful enough. Don't make it worse. That's the smartest thing you've said all day. Law enforcement officers are people like you and me. They have families they want to get back home to every night. They have a target on their back and deal with the scum of the earth almost daily, all while trying to remain professional. Not to mention that in this day and age, they are scrutinized with every breath they take. So cut them some slack and make it easy for them to do their job and let you get on your way. It doesn't mean letting them push you around or abuse their role. It just means stay focused on the objective, which is to end the encounter safely and respectfully as quickly as possible. If you enjoy this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and watch the next video right here. Train hard, often, and safely, and I'll see you at the range.